What is going on, Dennis? This is Darius from Auto Fair Nissan of Stratum here. I'm gonna give you a walk around on the 2020 Nissan Kicks. This one is gonna be the SV trim and we'll go over a few of the features that, that that's gonna have for you. Under the hood, you're gonna have a 1.6 liter four cylinder engine. It's gonna get you 122 horsepower. But the real kick here is you're gonna get 36 miles per gallon on the highway. That's the EPA estimate on this. That is a very impressive feat. The SV is gonna have some nicer alloy wheel upgrades right there. You can see those, nice and stylish looking. You're also gonna have breakaway style mirrors over here. They break in, they break back, they break out, they come back. Nice and easy, right? Prevents you from breaking them off if you're gonna get bumped in a parking lot or anything like that. This one also does have a remote starter and that's how I started it up today. Very convenient up for these cold New England wet winters. Now in the back seat here, you're gonna see the space that you get there. Pretty solid actually. And you're gonna get this nice style seating. I love the stitching on here. Gives it a little bit of contrast and uh, the pattern is nice on there. Let's come around, we'll take a look in the back. You're gonna see on the bumper, you're gonna have those little dots there. Those are for your rear sonar, they're for parking sensors. Now taking a look back here, nice deep trunk. You can see how low that is, how much room you get back here. And then you have your cargo cover right here, which we can actually remove using this high-tech system right here. Very high-tech, very, very high-tech. Now we're gonna move back around. I'll go into some more of those, those convenience and uh, comfort features for you. Once we get in, we do have a remote keyless ent entry right there. All your controls on the door. And actually I'll give you a little pan right here so you can see the size. Pretty good space, actually very comfortable. I'm an average height person, I'm very comfortable. Uh, in here, seat isn't even all the way back for me or anything. Now it does warn you if there's a door open at all, so you can see the driver door is open, that warning's gonna come up and it's gonna turn off when the door closes. Now taking a look here, you might be able to tell, hey, doesn't that, uh, that RPM gauge over there, the tachometer on the left look a little bit different than the one on the right? Well, that's because the one on the left is gonna be digital. This whole screen here is gonna be uh, completely customizable and controllable by you using the buttons right here on your steering wheel. So I'll just go through some of those with you right here. You got your music, fuel economy information, your history with it, any vehicle information. This one's nice because it has the digital speedometer as well, your drive computer, all of your safety features and driving aids, and then back to your tire pressures. And if there were any warnings, it would let you go to the little, um, let me go back to it there, that guy right there. It would allow you there if there were any warnings, such as the door being open, low tire pressure, etc. Uh, but then over here, you have all your settings for your different stuff, your uh, your menus, VDC, all that kind of good things over here. And right back to your tachometer there. Now, moving over a little bit, I'll just show you the radio system on this. This one does actually come with Apple CarPlay and Android Auto capability, which is actually pretty fantastic especially in an introductory level car. So a lot of vehicles, you have to get a premium premium high level for it. Uh, it's nice that you're gonna get that right here in the SV uh, Kicks. So Apple CarPlay, Android Auto, other than that, you get a nice touch screen, very, very easy to use, very intuitive. All your menus across the bottom, super easy. Uh, and then you got some buttons to back it up as well on the left and right side. And for most people, they're gonna love this, that it has an actual usable dial there for your uh, volume and for your tuning. A lot of people tend to say that they don't care so much for the touchscreen ones, so that's good. You do get a little bit of tactile function there out of the knobs. Moving down, we're going to take a look here. You got your climate control, nice and easy to use. All your different modes are going to be selectable with that middle button, and then you got your defroster, defogger, recirculator, and uh, over here, you're going to have your temperature and your auto function, and then your fan speed. Nice and easy. Plugins down here for your uh, music streaming and for your phone charging. You got your 12 volt cigarette lighter style outlet there next to it. And then your push to start button and your gear selector. On the back of this, you actually you're gonna have this little button right there. That's gonna be for your sport mode. So when you're in drive and you press that button, it'll go into the drive sport mode. Other than that, nice and simple. I'll put it in reverse. I'm just gonna show you the backup camera real quick. Nice big screen, very crisp and clear. You got your distance indicators there with the green, yellow, and red lines. And you've also got that little orange line that keeps popping up. That's actually showing you based on the steering wheel angle where your car is gonna go. So you'll see as I turn the wheel, that follows. 
and then disappears when you are centered on. Pretty smart there, huh? <laughs> taking a peek down you got your cup holders your parking brake and your armrest that sticks out a little bit makes it nice and convenient for you to get your arm down on here and still be able to comfortably reach the steering wheel and lastly i'll give you a little pan of up top you got your lights up here they're nice soft light they're not overly uh aggressive on you um and i think they look nice that styling for them and last little feature that i'd like to show you right there on the pillar and then over here on this pillar are for your blind spot monitoring and those will also flash uh, when your um, rear cross traffic is going. If you want to know any more about any of those safety features or any of the other features on the car that I may not have gone over, um, feel free to let us know via email or give us a call or just come on down and see it. We are located at 45 Portsmouth Ave in Stratham.